Very good. So, first of all, this is radiation. This one is radiation. <laughs> Catherine. Catherine. Catherine is not yet here. Okay, that's radiation. Then here, we shall have conduction. And inside here, we shall have water. But that water will have, we shall see all these things. Okay, something like that. And this is what we call convection. And this is heat, this is charcoal. Okay. Water, yeah, like that. Sean. Yes, teacher. You must be able to draw, eh? You want yes. to draw the house and you say that saucepan is inside the house. Okay, we are going to look at conduction. Now, let us be very, uh, very vigilant what is written here. So that's, I want you to listen to this because at the end, you, are, you should be able to have the correct definition of what conduction is. So they are saying that, hold one end of the metal bar and place the other end in burning in burning charcoal or Bunsen flame for some time. Now, Daki, do you know what a Bunsen is? Do you yeah. know what do you know what a, a Bunsen is? Yeah. Okay, so a Bunsen like this one here. This is heat from a Bunsen flame. This one, this is a Bunsen flame. So when you put a metal. So when you put a Bunsen, I mean, when you put a metal on a Bunsen flame, something will happen. The heat is going to start heating up that metal, what? That metal flame. So what do you feel on the metal flame? What will you feel when you put one end of the metal bar in fire and then the other end you are holding it? What will you feel? Hmm? What will you feel, members? Let me ask you, what will you feel, Dakia? What will you feel when you put a metal bar in fire? Yes? The metal bar will become hot. Uh -huh. The metal bar will gradually become hot. First of all, it will be warm then to be hot, then to be very hot, isn't it? Gradual, it become hot. What does this one mean? So I say that when a substance is heated, hmm, or what causes the heat to be transferred from a point that is very hot to a point that is not hot, what causes that? What happens inside the metal bar? We know that a metal bar is made up of Atoms, isn't it? It's made up of all together. It's made up of what? Yeah. Uh -huh. And these atoms receive energy. When they receive energy from, where? from the heat, because heat <coughs> energy. So when a substance is heated, its particles, its particles are heated and gain heat. But this heat energy is converted into their kinetic energy and they start vibrating. Hmm? Dakia? Yes. Do you know kinetic energy? Yes. What's kinetic energy? Kinetic energy. Hmm. It's the movement. It's the energy. 
is the energy possessed by moving objects. Hmm? Daki, have you heard? Yes. Uh -huh. Is the energy possessed by moving objects? Anything that is more anything that is moving, it's the energy that it has is the energy it has is what we call kinetic what energy. If anything is moving, the energy that it has is what we call kinetic energy. Go together. Yes. Uh -huh. So when the atoms are heated, they vibrate. They vibrate. Okay. And vibrate faster. So because they are vibrating, it means that their energy, the energy they receive in form of heat is converted into the kinetic energy because they are vibrating or because they are moving far faster. Are we together? Yes. Hmm. So I'm going to read through this. Afterwards, you are going to think about the definition of radiation. So when they are saying that when the vibrating particles knock neighboring particles and transfer some kinetic energy to them, in this process, the heat energy is passed on through the entire solid. And this process is what we call the conduction. Is what we call the what? The conduction. So conduction, it is transferred through a solid without movement of any part of the solid. So the solid does not move, it remains where it is, but heat will be transferred from one point to another. Are we together? So members, just a moment, just a moment, maybe like uh, three, uh, two minutes, I'm going to get back to you. All right, now, conduction, now let me explain more. Conduction occurs when these, when the atoms gain heat energy, and when they gain heat energy, they vibrate. They do what? They vibrate. On vibrating, they collide with the next molecule, the next atoms, and this causes the atoms to transfer the heat from one point to another through the collusions, through those continuous collusions. Because I've told you that those atoms, when they absorb the heat, they vibrate. But when they are vibrating, they knock one another. Those, that knocking is what we call collusion. So they collide with one another. Mm -hmm. They collide with one another. On colliding with one another, they transfer the heat mm -hmm. from one atom to another to another, and now heat will be transferred gradually from one point that is very hot to a point that has a low temperature. But in, but you should know that the fact is that the metal does not move. The metal does not move. It remains the way it is. No part of the metal moves. It, what I mean is that you will not find that maybe this part is going to move and then go this side. No, no, no. This part will remain there, but it will just absorb the heat and heat will be transferred through that metal very slowly up to the point where there is a low temperature. So conduction, transfer of heat from a region of high temperature to a region of low temperature without movement of the without movement of any part of the solid or without movement of matter, without movement of, ma of matter. Are we together? And normally conduction takes place in, so in solids. Are we together? Hmm? Members, are we together? Yes, teacher. Yes. A conduction takes place in so in solids now you can see in this diagram here we have the metals and we have the metal but the metal has got atoms so once the atoms are heated they gain that heat 
So atoms are now energized by this heat. So now they start vibrating. On vibrating, they collide with one another. So now the atoms that have uh, that are colliding with one another transfer the heat from one from one atom to another. In the due process, heat is transferred from the region of high temperature to the region of low temperature. But the solid does not move. The solid does not move. It remains the way it is, but the heat will be transferred within that solid. Are we together? So you should, we should know the correct definition of conduction. So what's conduction? What, what have you understood from that? If someone talks about conduction, what have you understood from that conduction? Yes, Paul. After hearing that, I think conduction hmm. is a process by which heat energy is transferred through solids hmm. without causing change in matter. Uh -huh, without causing change in matter, that is correct. But you have to add on where does the where is heat transferred from where to where? From a region of high temperature to a region of low temperature. Uh -huh. So is the yes. So now it is a process by is the process by which heat is transferred through solids from a region of high temperature to a region of low temperature without movement of any part of ma of matter. Are we together? Yes. Uh, or without movement of matter. So we write that in our books. Write that in our books. Okay, so I will zoom in there and I'm writing. I know my camera here is giving me a lot of challenges. <laughs> I want to write, okay, I think you can see there. So we can say that is, is that here. Yes. Have you understood? Yes. Yes. Okay. Is the movement of heat from the region, even others, I think you have understood. Don't say it's only us doing that. Yeah, no, even others. So is the movement of heat from the region of high temperature? to a region of, of low temperature through a what? Through a solid without movement of what? Without movement of, without movement of matter. That movement of matter I can say with that movement of matter as a whole. So the whole solid does not move, but it remains the same. That movement of matter as a whole. Like that. Okay. So there is something I want to show you. But I want, before I show you something, I want to also to explain to you that in this book here, they are talking about atoms, that atoms are the ones that gain heat and then they vibrate. But also you should know that metals, metals have got free moving ele electrons. Do you know electrons? Sean, do you know electrons? Yeah? Yes. What are electrons? Who knows what are electrons? Metals have electrons. What are electrons? Who knows? Yes. What are electrons? What are electrons? 
Electrons are negative char charges. Yes, Bridget. <laughs> okay, Bridget. Mm -hmm. Electrons are very small pieces of matter with a negative electric charge. Uh -huh. all up to okay, electrons are electrons, these are the smallest they are part of the atoms eh? they move around the atom now last time we were talking about the atom in chemistry and we talked about electrons isn't it hmm? electrons they yes. are surrounding the atom isn't it yes uh -huh. so you know that metals have got ele electrons and those electrons are inside those atoms but those electrons are free to move for them they have they have, they have free movement, free movement within the metal. So electrons, they are negatively charged and they move within the metal. Now, because electrons are free to move within the metal, when the metal is heated, those electrons are the ones that transfer the heat from a point that is hot to a point that is cold, because for them, they, are, they, they have free movement they freely move within the metal. So the heat is transferred from a region of high temperature to the region of low temperature in metals. In metals, they are electrons that transfer the heat. Also atoms transfer the heat, but in most cases, they are electrons. Did you know that electrons also contribute to the transfer of electrons in metals? That's why if you get a metal and put it in, put it in on a live wire carrying electricity, you may get an electric shock because metals have got free moving electrons. So those electrons will transfer the electricity or they, they also transfer the heat from a point that is hot or from a region that has a high temperature to a region that has a low temperature. So in metals, there are electrons and there are also atoms that contribute to the movement of heat by conduction. Are we together? So let me show you a video here. Let me see. Uh, a conduction. Conduction of heat. In solids okay conduction of heat in solids which one should we see let us first see this one here let me put use school this school has got some nice okay Okay, let us look let us look at this one here. Swatch. There's no such thing as perfect writing, but there is so that's an advert. Oh, something to my screen. It's a way to sound the best you can. Let's talk about Grammarly. So that's an advert. We are not interested. Here we see two likely lads toasting some marshmallows. Conduction. So here we see two likely lads toasting some marshmallows on an open fire. One of them has chosen a metal rod so to that is put their marshmallow in. There is a teaspoon in fire. So these are two spoons in fire, and they are telling you one is a metal rod. And no, the other one chose a glass rod. Another which one of them do you rod. think is going to burn their hands on their rod so first? Which one will burn your hands first? Which one will burn your hand first? I'm asking you, which one burns the hand first? The metal rod. The metal rod. Okay, let us see. Well, let's wait and see. There we go. We can see it was the guy with the metal rod. Why do we think that was? Well, actually, it's because metals are much better at conducting than glass. Glass still does conduct, just not as well. 
Let's zoom in and look at the particles in the glass and see how it conducts. So glass is a typical solid in the way it conducts. The particles by the fire start to gain heat from it and start to vibrate much more vigorously. They then collide with the particles next to them, passing on the energy, and slowly down the rows, each particles vibrate more and more vigorously, passing on heat to the next one through collisions. So it progresses slowly through the glass. This is how conduction happens in most normal solids. And it's why solids are so good at conducting, because the particles are so close together that they collide very often. If you imagine it with a liquid or with a gas, the particles are quite far apart, so they do still conduct, they can still collide, it's just not going to happen very often. Right, now let's look at the metal and see why metals are such amazing conductors. If we look at the metal, we see there's still the same process happening as in the glass. The atoms near the fire are gaining heat and vibrating and colliding with the ones next to it. But there's an extra thing happening inside of metals. There's all these tiny little electrons whizzing around. They're called free delocalized electrons. They can... So do you see how electrons, I mean how atoms transfer the heat fast in metals? And those blue ones, those are the electrons. So they are atoms vibrating, but they are also electrons that are inside the metal. So that's why heat will be transferred fast in metals compared to other solids like glass because for them they have free moving electrons and they also have the vibrating atoms which vibrate and collide with one another transferring the heat from the region that is hot to the region that is cold that is cold bump into all the ions throughout the metal so they can gain heat from the hot end and race straight down and bump into an atom at the cold end, therefore spreading the heat through the metal much, much quicker. This is why metals are so amazing at conducting. So, what's the key information to remember from this? Well, the key bit of information to remember is that conduction is the transfer of heat via particles colliding with each other. Solids are the best at conducting because the particles are so close together. Liquids would be the next best, but they're pretty rubbish, and gases would be awful, because the particles are so far apart, they don't collide very often. Okay, also, yeah, they are telling that particles are in solids are very close to one another, and that's why uh, conduction is fast in solids compared to liquids and gases, because in liquids, the molecules are moderately spaced, and in gases, the molecules are far apart, apart. So because in solids, the molecules are close to one another, when the particles collide, they easily transfer the heat from one point to another through their collisions. Okay. Mm -hmm. See? The metals are the best of all solids at conducting because they've got free delocalized electrons, which can transfer heat from one end to the other very, very quickly. Okay. So I want us to just there, just there. So we are going to write something. Uh, we are going to write something. Maybe this one will come later on. But we are going to go back to our notes and write something about conduction of heat in solids. Conduction of heat in solids. So here. Okay, so now we, I want you to write this. Do you see this part? Up to there. Are we together? Hmm? Yes, teacher. Uh -huh. I want you to write that part that when substance is heated, after this, then you write, uh, you write a paragraph and say when paragraph okay you put a paragraph and you say when paragraph and then you say or a dash when a substance is heated its particles are heated and gain kinetic energy and vibrate faster about their fixed positions the vibrating particles knock neighboring particles 
and transfer some of their kinetic energy to them. In this process, it is transferred as passed on through the entire solid. Full stop, stop there. Okay? Ruth, are we together? Ruth? Yes. Okay, you write that, write that. <laughs> Finished. We have only six. Sorry, 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 sorry. We have only seven minutes remaining. Is it, is it, is it Christmas? And afterwards, write these key points. Eh? <laughs> write these key what? These key points. Are you seeing them? Hmm? Yes. Hmm. After this statement, write key points. You put there key points. Write a word there that key key points. Then you list those key points that they are talking about. Those key points. This, this, and that. What does the word decolor de delocalized mean? Free delocalized de electrons. What does it mean? Free delocalized electrons. What does it mean? Sean. Yes, teacher. What does the, these words mean? This statement, free delocalized electrons. What does it mean? What does it mean? I don't know. It means free? Free moving electrons. Yes, free moving electrons. That's what it means, free moving electrons. So have you finished? Have you finished writing this? Yes. Ducky, have you finished? Yes. Yes. Okay. Good. Good. So next time we meet, we are going to look at good and bad conductors of what? Of heat. Good and bad conductors of heat. Good and bad conductors of heat. That's what we shall look at. And all this up to the point here. We shall study up to the point. Okay, good and bad conductors of heat. <coughs> we are still good and bad conductors of heat are under conduction because you hear conductors of heat so it is under conduction 
we have not started the radi uh, convection or radiation, so we are still under conduction. So have you finished writing Almost. the key points? Almost. Okay, so you write all of them. They are very important. The first one, heat transfer of heat by particles. You should remember transfer of heat by is by particle colliding, particles colliding with each other. Then particles are very close together in solids compared to liquids, then gases. So that means that reaction is most in solids because the particles are so close to one another because solids are very packed. And then the other one, metals are the best of the solids for conducting because they have free delocalized electrons or they have free moving electrons. That's why metals are the best solids for conducting. Is it okay? So have, yes. you understood, have you understood something today? Conduction? Yes. Okay, so next time you should know how is conduction? Conduction is mainly in so in solids, and it is inside the solids, not, not heat outside the solid. No, heat must be on a solid, and the heat is transferred with the solid. So conduction takes place within that solid itself. Okay. So that's why in our diagram here that we had fire here. The conduction is here between the handle and the human being because the conduction must be in the solid. So the one which is in gas is here, it is the radiation. The one which is in liquids here is the convection. But we shall see later on that also convection happens in, ga in gases. And radiation happens even without gases. It can even happen where there is a vacuum, okay? Radiation. So convection happens inside the liquids and also inside the gases. And conduction is for solids, mainly for solids. So the heat must be within the solid. So this can't be conduction. This can't be conduction. But this is conduction within the solid. OK, members, let me wish you a nice day. Nice day. Uh, thank you for coming. You're welcome. Uh, be blessed and bye bye. Bye. Sean. Sean has gone. Sean was the first. Okay. Bye.